don't just start your plan and invite him in in the middle don't try to do it yourself that's the reason why many are confused follow his will part time don't leave god in the beginning only for you to drag him in in the middle don't map out a plan for yourself only for you to start looking for god in the middle of it rather make god the first make him the alpha so that he can help you be the omega make him the starting point so that he can run with you and finish well god makes everything beautiful in his time and season so if you're wondering why some things are not beautiful or if you're wondering why you're not enjoying the amazing inheritance that we have in christ it might be that you have tried to map out your own plan and probably it's against the plan of god for you at that particular time there is a word for every season there is a word for every phase that you're about to enter you finish a phase in your life you're about to enter another ask for his will go to the place of prayer there are seasons for men there are seasons that you should stay with god in the place of prayer there are seasons for you to fast wait on him for a word wait on him for something that will help you run the race in this journey of faith ask for a word from him don't just don't just go don't just start your plan and invite him in in the middle don't try to do it yourself that's the reason why many are confused they are trying to map out their home plan themselves but god is the creator is the master craft he builds you he knows your finishing from the start so why not surrender to him why not let him help you through why not let him map out the plan for you is the great master plan do you know i'm sure you've heard about it before no wonder major churches or should i say most churches have a watchword for the year and some probably for the month you know that part of the scripture that says that make the vision plain upon the table that he may run with it for the vision is yet for an appointed time there is time and season for everything in life just like the book of ecclesiastes said so there is a place for a word from God. There is a place for him to run with that word for you. So that you may get to that finishing point as a glorious person. So don't try to leave God out of the equation. Many people at times try to do things themselves. And in the middle put, try to drag God into the situation, into the equation. But at the end, it doesn't go well. Don't do that thing without God's will. Don't do it without a God from God. Don't do it without settling some things in the place of prayer. Yeah. There is a season and time for everything under heavens. Just like Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1 says. So don't try to leave God out of the equation. Be blessed. <laughs>